Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Mickey Gall versus Basil Vasiv. Mickey Gall, 7 and 5, 2 and 3 in his last five fights, is on a two fight losing streak. Haven't seen him in a little over two years. Plus 225 underdog, 32 years old, 6 2 with a 74 inch reach. Funny Basil Havez, who's 8 4 and 1, 3 and 2 in his last five fights. As we all know, he fought JDM. A little while ago at this point, 10 months ago, lost a split decision. I don't really necessarily see that fight as a split. The only big success Bazil was able to have besides surviving was that uh, JDM was going for guillotines and that was getting him on the bottom. That was the idiotic play of JDM. Uh, minus 290 favorite, 32 years old, 5'11", with a 72-inch reach, 2-inch reach advantage, and a 3-inch height advantage for Mickey Gall. I just think Mickey Gall has fought better competition. They're basically even records, same age really, no TKO wins, has been finished twice on the feet, but has 6 submission wins as well, 6-5 and five in the UFC. Again, he's fought some really good competition. You know, Mike Jackson's not one, CM Punk's not one, Sage Northcutt's okay. Randy Brown, he lost a decision to him, that's not terrible. George Sol Sullivan, he beat Diego Sanchez, he lost, that was a bad one. Um, Salem, whatever that name is, beat him by decision. Actually looked pretty decent in that matchup. And then fought Mike Perry, and just, that, that's a hard fight. And then destroy Jordan Williams, who's also not great, but even his losses. Mike Perry, Morono, Mallet, Sanchez, Brown, some decent fighters. Brazil Brazil just hasn't fought the best of competition. I think that's that's the reality of it. You know, who's who's his best performance or who's his best fighter that he's fought? <sighs> Evan Cutts, who's 15 and 5 at the time, uh, Kristen uh, Savio, Savi, 8 and 0. I guess you could say him. He's 10, 10 and 1, but he's 31 years old. Uh, let me suspect this guy's not fighting any good fighters. And shocker, zero, zero. So doesn't really surprise me. But I like Vicky Gall in this one. I think his output and his ability to, you know, adapt, I would say, just kind of wins him in this matchup. So, if you look, uh, that's not right. We're not talking about the Nico Price fight. We already did that. Strikes landed per minute, 2.94 to 2.13. 46 accuracy to 25. Absorbed, it's 4.25 to 5.53. Defense is 49 to 39. Takedown average is 1.2 to 3. 30% accuracy to 15, 36% takedown defense to 50, and then about two submissions a fight for Mickey Gall. I, I don't necessarily think this uh, time away is all that bad. So I think it's actually kind of good. He eels him up a little bit. He fought quite often while he, when he was around. So I like Mickey Gall. I, I, I do like him in this matchup. People are going to think it's crazy, but I do like him. Fighting JDM and going getting a split does not mean all of a sudden you're just some monster. I just I, I just don't see it. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.